Hi everyone. Welcome to Mindful Crafts and More. I'm Katrina. This is your first time checking out my channel. Welcome. Take a look at this video or any of my other videos. And if you find yourself inspired, join my channel. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. I really appreciate you just hanging out with me for a bit. So hi everyone. Today I am super excited and I am super inspired because I've been invaded again, and it's partly my own doing, but once you see the rest of the video, you will understand what I mean. I made a purchase, and I had no idea how all of this was going to totally transpire the way it did, but it's a wonderful story and a wonderful journey, and I am so happy to share it with you today. So what is the Happy Mail? Well, I went ahead and made a large purchase, shall we say, as a result of just being inspired by a couple of Yarny friends, one of which I didn't even know inspired me in this way, but I am so happy the way it ended up. Now, I'm gonna show you a photo of my box that I received and if you can't guess what it is, that's okay. I have it actually here in real time. So let's just take a look at the box because I'm just so excited to show it to you. All right. Here it is right here. Oh my gosh. I am excited. Can you see what it is? Yes, I made a purchase. And I have one for myself, and this is just, just great. I hope that it's going to be able to help me a lot to show more, to do more, to inspire you guys. And yeah, okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to open the box. I don't have a place to put it. So let me just open the box so I can at least show it to you, and then we will come back and talk to you about it, okay? So I'll be back in a moment. I'm so excited. Yes, I purchased another knitting machine, which is why I mentioned I'm being invaded again. For those of you who have been on my channel for a while, I did do a video, Am I Invaded? And I would love it if you would go back and take a look at that video and see what the invasion was all about. But today, um, this one is a little different. And I want to tell you how I was inspired to make this purchase. Okay. So, um, I do a lot of uh, crafting and a lot of the crafting is for um, charity and to give to others. Um, I want to be able to do things a little bit faster. And while I do enjoy the hand knitting and will always do hand knitting, um, it is a little slower for me. So when I have things that I really need to get done faster, I think this would help me to be able to get the fabric done uh, faster and then perhaps be able to piece it together. So that's really exciting to me. 
I actually have honestly looked at knitting machines for a long, long time, but it's been kind of off and on. I'll look at them and then say, no, that's okay. And this dates way back to the invention of the incredible sweater machine. If you guys have ever heard of that, um, it is a product that I don't think is um, available now, but I think Bond was the company that made it and sold it. Um, so I looked at it and saw it, it had an upgrade and I still didn't purchase it. But this time it was really on me strong and it was strong because I just was inspired. I really was inspired. And who was I inspired by? I was inspired by a just awesome, awesome, beautiful person inside and out who is just multi-talented. And in my mind, an artist. And that is Bev over at the Dittmer Knittery. Bev does so many different crafts. She sews, she crochets, she knits, she um, works with um, felted uh, items and she does them herself and all types of just different things, just multi-talented and just beautiful person all the way around. She is doing a wonderful series right now where she is doing a bag and she's taking us through her journey and giving us lots of tips and whatnot. She's showing us how she does her felting techniques and she does a lot of it freehand and just from her own inspiration and they are just beautiful works of art. So as I'm watching, I uh, will sometimes go back and review series. And so at this particular time, I was reviewing her series and just so happened to see on one of the videos, she said, this is the last time I'm using this machine. And that caught my ear and I thought, why? So I went back and watched some more videos. And before I did that, I left a comment and I said, oh, this is the last time you're using the machine. What are you gonna do with it? And I pushed, you know, send comment and then went to go and view some more of her videos. And as I'm reviewing the videos, I got my answer. Someone purchased it. So I thought, oh, wow, okay. Someone purchased it. That's okay. I'm still inspired, right? Um, and I went back and deleted my comment because I, it didn't, you know, it was okay that it was already spoken for. And I just thought, oh, well, no worries. It's okay. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. All right. But it was still on my mind and it was still on my heart and I couldn't really shake it completely. So Bev wrote me back, even though I deleted my comment. And she mentioned that she saw the comment and then when she went to answer it, it was no longer there. So I wrote her back and said, well, you know, Bev, it's okay. I actually saw a video that you um, po put up and I found my answer. So no worries. And she said, okay. Now she didn't tell me who purchased it. So I had no idea, but it was still on my mind and heart as I'm watching her videos that I really felt like now was the time for me to go ahead and get the machine. So I looked it up and I priced it and I looked to see if it was in my budget. And I thought, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and order it. So I did. And as I did, I shared my purchase with my Yarny Bestie, because that's what besties do. And before I even told her what it was, I didn't say what it was. I said, I made a large purchase and I want to share with you, but it is not ready yet. So when it's ready, I want to share. And guess what? She knew exactly what I was talking about. And she was the one that made the purchase. So isn't that just awesome, guys? I had no idea that, that the things about crafting and creativity and just maybe exploring, you know, a different uh, portion of crafting was on her mind, like it was on my mind. And you know what? We may or may not make the same things with it, but we are embracing our journeys. And to me, that is such a beautiful thing.
So how about that? I was inspired by Bev and by Priscilla, my young bestie, without even realizing it. And that's awesome. So yes, I purchased a knitting machine, another one, and I'm being invaded one more time. I hope that you guys enjoyed this story as well as me opening up the box for my new machine. I'm gonna have to get a location where I can put set it up um, so that it can be nice and stable because it needs to be on a stable um, surface. So I don't have that yet, but as I do, and as I explore the machine, I am sure to share it with you guys. And you guys can come along with me as I learn how to use it. And as I continue to be inspired by my wonderful Yarny friends here in this community and you. I wanna say thank you to Bev so much for the inspiration. If you guys haven't checked her out, please go over and check out Bev at the Dipper Knittery. You will not be disappointed. She is awesome. And I want you to also check out Priscilla over at Distinctive Crochet. She also is just an awesome, giving, creative, and innovative in the way she takes her designs and whatnot. And she also is very good at walking you through her process as she creates her beautiful fabric and beautiful items. So you won't lose if you check them out, guys. There is only inspiration to gain and new friends and perhaps new ideas for you to share as well. So that's all I have for today. I'm not gonna put a puzzle because this is a long video and I didn't mean for it to be too long. So I will just end it here. And I just wanna say, guys, be mindful. Do everything you can to be at your best health and by all means, be crafty every day. I look forward to seeing you again soon in one of my videos or maybe in one of yours. Take care now. Bye-bye.